Hi there, everyone. Today we're taking a look at track templates. For a long time, I didn't really see the um, big benefit of uh, using track templates in Reaper. But as to say, you get smarter the older you get. Normally, I will use uh, project templates on a regular basis. And those are great for um, recording full bands and mixing. While the track templates are uh, very useful and a huge time saver when it comes to doing overdubs and um, separate instruments, as well as inserting uh, specific things you like to do in a mix. Now what I have here is a rehearsal recording with uh, one of my bands. For this video I'm focusing on the drums. There's a little uh, section without any effects or things like that on it. Sounds fairly good already, but as mentioned in an earlier video, what I often do is uh, record band rehearsals and uh, send uh, files to the other members of the bands or bands that I do recording for. Quite often you find some settings with the uh, effects that uh, make it sound a bit better and with track templates you can um, do this very quickly. So just to show you what I have here, just a limiter on the master. There's some bus compression, pull take EQ, and some tape on the drum bus. And on most of the individual uh, drum tracks, I have uh, some EQ and a couple of compressors. And a reverb uh, return, which I'll sense from the snare top and the toms. So with the effects, this is what it sounds like. This is a great starting point for a quick uh, rough mix. So for later, um, with the uh, track templates, I can uh, save the whole uh, setup for the drums and have all effects, volume, pan, recording inputs ready to go uh, for the next time. What we then need to do is select all of the tracks that we want included drum bus, individual drum tracks, and a couple of folders, and the reverb. We have the track menu here, save tracks as track template. Just name it something that uh, makes sense. You also have a couple of options beneath here, that's including the items, which we don't want in this case, and similarly include envelopes in template. This means any automation that you do. We're not going to need that now either. Those two options make more sense if you, uh, if you have some special effects or uh, things like that that you want to include in a mix. Then you can easily import that uh, using a track template. So we're going to save this now. And just to uh, demonstrate how it works, open a new project. And then the track control panel here, you can just right click, insert track from template, and there we have our uh, recently saved uh, track template. Click that. As you now can see, we have all of the effects send to the reverb, panning, recording inputs, everything ready to go. One thing to be aware of is uh, if you want to monitor using these effects, you need a sound card that can support really uh, low um, latency. So in most cases, I will uh, just bypass all of the effects while recording and use the sound card uh, direct monitoring. And as you can see, this is a huge uh, time saver. Say if you have a preferred um, setup for vocals and things like that, you can easily just do a right click and uh, have everything ready to go in a matter of uh, seconds. And as already mentioned, if you're recording a full band or um, bigger uh, groups, then the project template is uh, probably the way to go. Quick overdubs or uh, 
recording a one instrument of the track templates uh, are uh, really practical. Hope you found that helpful. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Leave questions and comments down below. And I'll see you in the next video.